Hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters, the Skyblock Edition. My name is Buzzfly Bandit and this is episode 2. So, as you can see, our mob farm is doing great. We're getting some glow squid ink because we're so low down. And I've been doing a lot of farming over on the tree farm. What I've also done is remove the entire cobblestone pillar. I don't really like the look of it. So, um, today I'm going to build a better one using birch. Strip birch, of course, to make it look nice. This was all the cobblestone I got from that massive tower. I gotta say, it's a lot funner than using this silly old cobblestone generator. Bah! Today, I want to build a nicer column up to there. A little island to make a wheat farm. A little cobblestone generator island. And just generally tidy this up, because cobblestone honestly looks terrible. I'd also like to explain a few things about Vault Hunters. So I didn't explain it properly last episode because it's a bit hard to get into the vaults when you can't even access the proper ones. No, the other ones from last yesterday, not the actual proper vaults. In order to craft them, you need to create a vault altar using these materials here, which we have gathered from the vaults. Ta-da! Where should we put it? Just... Let's put it over here for now. One volt altar! Very fancy. Now, before we can do anything else, we need to create vault rock. So the vault rocks up the top there aren't the real vault rocks. These ones other vault rocks we need. Place them into here and it says we need sand. So we need sand, bone, lapis azul and azalea leaves. Oh, well, just leaves in general. So I can get one, two of those things. I don't need sand yet but we can get some from the vault. The leaves however are going to be very tricky. Are they? No, wait, I can shear leaves. Yeah this will be easy. So we'll complete this soon and after I build this pillar because it doesn't actually go all the way to the top yet. <laughs> Another thing that to, um, to mention is the skills we can get. So I've already gotten the healing skill because I'm level one as you can see and that allows me to heal for four out of every 10 seconds for 30 mana cost. Down the left hand corner is the mana bar. I just press F and I use that ability. But there's also Nova Vein Miner, which I really want to get next because it allows me to mine four blocks whenever I do one. Farmer used to be really good in the old one, not so much anymore. And then we've also got these abilities from passive. Well, yeah, they're all passive, I think. But they're a bit more later. Don't really need them yet. What I would really like to get is a create mod. These need knowledge stars. Which we get by running the main vaults from the vault crystals. And they are quite expensive. So you need the knowledge core, which you get from vault diamonds. Extraordinary Beniatite from four perfect Beniatite from four normal Beniatite gems, which you get from mining ores. You also need Knowledge Shards, which you just get from Knowledge Essence. Nine Knowledge Essence, so very expensive to make. <laughs> Hopefully today we can run a few vaults and you can see what an actual vault looks like. For now though, I'm going to work on building this pillar. I made it to the top, finally! I got most of the wood stripped on the way up, but I'll do the rest later. For now though, I'll just worry about water towering back up to the top and then building the fences. These are the types of fences I'll be using. They are from stripped birch logs, which look very 
very nice in my opinion, particularly when placed on their own like they will be here. This water elevator took ages. I had to do a lot of wood chopping to make it. But now that it's done, I can finally turn the water into source blocks. This is my Tower of Kelp. I've bone milled it all the way to the sky, as you can see, and now I'm going to break it and place down the soul sand. This bubble elevator is so much faster than the other way I was doing it, and bonus! Now I can look down what I've built as I'm going up. I replaced the cobblestone platform down below with the much nicer heavy stone bricks, as you can see, and had a half circle connect to the main one for a nice look, and it also helps connect the bridges. Wow, look at all this kelp I've gathered. Three stacks of extra 20. Just goes to show how much birch I need to cut to build this bubble column. After all that building, I needed a break. So I explored the vaults to find some sand. And would you look at what I found in the village room? It also had a nice amount of cactus growing on top of it too. Something I haven't found yet. I then put all the items for the altar in. Can't forget the leaves. Then I used a button to release the crystal. Now where we go? To the vault! But before I go in, I need to spend my skill point. Hunter looks good. It lets me find chests nearby. But I think I'll go for the vein miner skill. Which lets me mine four blocks every time I mine one. You'll see me use this later. Alright, so we've got our proper vault crystal. We've got all the supplies we need. Away we go! Ah, oh, it's a candy vault! Is that cake? What is that? Sugar! Cool. Ah, this looks awesome! Ooh, come drops. Can I eat them? No, I can't eat them. This vault was made just for Christmas. I don't saw it Christmas anymore, but I wanted to wait and update the mod pack until after I saw this vault, because it looks so awesome. I get lots and lots of loot from here. Most of it's unique to the proper vault rooms. It's really fun seeing the gummy bear and gingerbread mobs and hearing oh, their little voices. I looted as many chests as I could find. I really wanted to find some knowledge essence, but I also wanted to see what was in them too. I was lucky to find this room. It's a version of the villager room, I think. The water is clean and there's a few wooden chests around, but this pot tried to steal my sword, so I had to break it. I also found this escalic jewel, but it needed a vault gold to be unlocked. Fortunately, I didn't have any in my inventory, so I had to explore further in the vault to find some. I was lucky enough to find some coin pals in the next room, but the locals didn't want me to take them. Why? I have no idea. It has nothing to do with me stealing them at all. No. <laughs> the second area I found would not stop spawning mobs. I would kill one batch and another would spawn immediately afterwards. I don't have efficiency on my pickets yet, so I didn't destroy the spawner to stop them. Instead, I just Built a bridge over the top and looted it away. I then quickly ran away from the spawner and perched high up on some logs so I could pick off the mobs one by one. There were a lot of mobs so I'm glad I knew this trick and didn't have to face them on the ground. Thankfully I was able to find some more coin piles but the gummy bears wouldn't let me go without a fight. They keep sneaking up on me so I had to keep the fighting going as I was looting. That thankfully gave me enough coins to create the gold coin I needed. So, back to the jewel I go, and I was so happy. Mission success! Do you see the crafty recipe for this thing? It is insane! And I only had to pay one gold for it. I then spent the rest of the vault searching for more special rooms. I didn't manage to find any unfortunately, but I was able to find plenty of chests. And mobs! I can't have a vault without mobs. <laughs> This room does look stunning though. I open up like this with the chocolate river. Such a nice quiet spot to relax and oh, oh dear, look at the time. I have less than a minute to get out of here. Thankfully, I marked out the exit so it's easy to get out of here without any fuss. Ooh, we leveled up. Let's see. 36 tra uh, chests and decent amount of mobs. Three. Up to level three. So let's get. Where is it? Hunter. Doesn't last very long, but we'll get there. 
let's see what loot we got. It's got some burger patties, which are great for making hamburgers used to gain vault experience. Vault diamonds, very useful for recipes. Catalyst fragment. Um, we've got some driftwood, some vault food, and unobtainium. Oh, just making unobtainium blocks. This one. Suck it with a pickaxe to add polarizing. Ooh. Very expensive. I like it. <laughs> so here is a big circle of stone I'm building. I eventually want to make it a complete circle, but for now it'll just be half because it requires a lot of stone. Speaking of stone, this is how I gathered enough for this project. Vein mine and an easy vault to make sure this task is a lot easier. I then found a nice safe village room to gather all the dirt from this hill. It was relaxing in a way. Okay, so I have just finished building at this entire semicircle. And of course there's slimes in it. Because there's, there's always slimes down this far. Shoot. So, my plan is, so I'm going to have the Queenslander be here, right? But underneath it, because Queenslanders have stilts, I'm going to have a tiered farm, just here. I think this is a good outline. And I'm just going to have the dirt down here like this. No, like that. <laughs> I'm thinking wheat, beetroot under the house because it's dark and it's going to be dark under here. And carrots and potatoes evenly split here. Yeah, I think that looked nice. Let's get building. I thought it'd be nice to let you see me planting all the crops for one half of the circle in some nice relaxing music. Please enjoy. Here is a completed patch of greenery. I'm just doing a time lapse of them growing at the moment because it does look pretty amazing, I must say. Unfortunately, this is all I have time for today. I won't be building up the second half just yet, but you can expect to see a pond on the other half where I'll be doing some fishing and maybe growing some sugar cane. And then the next episode, I'll also be building up the Queenslander. I look forward to seeing you after the next episode is completed. Please stay tuned. Don't forget to do those YouTube things. You know what they are. Only if you want to. Have a good one and enjoy the rest of your week. <laughs>